What's going on YouTube? I'm the Weird Dribbler. 2K23 is finally upon us. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys the uh, the build that I'm working on now. It's a two-way three-point point forward. And I feel like it's the best, most well-rounded 6-8 in the game. Um, I'm going to take you through it and show you how I made it. So you know I had to bring the Poop Jenkins back. That's always been my name since 2K16. Um, I went with a small forward left-handed. I always like left-handed builds for as long as I've been playing 2K. Um, so I went six foot eight, 189 pounds, small forward with a 72 wingspan. As you guys notice here, wingspan doesn't affect your ball control, so you can go as long as you want, um, and it's not going to be affected. And I feel like I really made like one of the most well-rounded six eights possible, um, and it suits my play style. So I went with compact body style, uh, just because previous in previous years, uh, a lot of the competitive lockdown defenders that used to play stage and things of that nature used to use compact body style just because i feel like you can see your body more when you're trying to blitz the ball but um so i went with a i had to sacrifice something you guys know that this builder is a little bit tricky um it took me two and a half hours to go ahead and make this build live on stream yesterday but yeah so um i had to sacrifice i knew i wouldn't be able to get contact dunks it was like it's almost impossible for me to figure out this build and still have you know a solid amount of defense and a solid amount of, of shooting and playmaking for me to uh, be able to have contact dunk so I, I, I took that away uh, and I just went with an 80 driving dunk so I still get quick drops um, but I have an 80 standing dunk so I get rise up on silver if I'm not mistaken yep rise up on silver I get fast twitch on bronze I get still get bully on bronze I get limitless takeoff on silver so I'm still gonna be able to get my quick drops um this build does get drop stepper and dream shake and a couple of other uh post post badges um as far as the shooting goes i know that i didn't need a super super high three ball for me to be able to be effective on a game and uh so i went with an 82 three ball uh 17 shooting badges i went with a mid-range that was high enough for me to get uh i wanted midi magician on gold you needed a 73 um i need to be able to midi fade midi fade is a part of my play style so that, that's one thing people get sucked up on this game into into making builds based on however everybody else is making it you know take my blueprint and tweak it to your play style to your you know the way that you you get things done um, as far as the uh, the pass accuracy goes, I knew that now that they the re, you know with them taking out bullet pass, so that you're gonna have to have a, a good amount of pass accuracy to make yourself effective. So I felt like 80 was a threshold that I wanted to start off with with my first build, um, and I haven't upgraded it fully yet. And uh, you know in, in in actual my career, I think I'm at like a 78 right now, and the passes are getting better and better. I can't wait until I hit that 80 threshold. Um, I went with an 89 ball control, so 89 ball control with this build gets me hall of fame quick first step i get gold killer combos which is pretty much the new quick chain um, i get gold clamp breaker i get silver handles for days and i get gold unpluckable um and speed with ball is an 80 and i for whatever reason i just had some intuition i almost went with a 79 speed with ball um and i was like you know what let me go with an 80 speed with ball because there might be um a dribble style a certain dribble style that has you know an 80 threshold and long behold there is a dribble style that has an 80 threshold um and bill gets gold hyperdrive i don't i don't know how how effective hyperdrive is going to be this year you know i feel it, a lot of us are discouraged with our builds right now at this a certain point in time when everybody's not badged down and no one has the movement but i feel like this build has has really good potential to play a couple of different ways and it's the ways that i like to play so i like playing stage twos pretty often um so i'll be able to you know guard ball effectively if i need to rotate and switch onto the big man i'll be able to get a stop on a big man and then i'm going to be able to dribble obviously um but so let's go to the defense so i got I, I put a 92 perimeter defense on it um so in the event that i do play stage threes i can play as a lockdown but i can also be a secondary ball handler um and going with a 92 perimeter defense that gave me the gold clamps it's so crazy looking at the thresholds for clamps uh this year with 97 perimeter defense meaning uh being the hall of fame clamps um, but I get gold clamps, I get challenger on gold, I get glove on bronze. I'm not a person that likes to reach uh, often. I reach in certain situations, so I knew that I, did, I wasn't, I'm not going to be spamming, especially with the adrenaline bars and the way that those work. Um, I went with a 70 block, 70 block gave me chase down artist on silver. Um, 
yeah, uh, chase down artists on silver, and I believe it was it was anchor on bronze. That's where the 70 threshold went. So that that's another thing that I pay attention to with my builds when I'm making builds. Um, I try and get everything to a certain threshold for a specific reason, you know. So when I see that I have a 70 block, I'm not getting a 70 block just because I felt like that would be a good number. I got a 70 block because it was getting me a certain badge. Um, so I got a 70 block and then my rebounding is pretty solid. I know that I'm, me personally, I'm a really good rebounder with pretty much every build. I just know the way that, that 2K works and the mechanics as far as where the ball goes off of the rim. And so I knew I'd be able to get it done. Uh, 85 defensive rebound got me rebound chaser on silver. So that's the reason why I got I got the uh, I got the 85. Can't wait till I fully upgrade this build. Right now I'm playing with no rebounding upgraded at all, and I'm still horsing. I can't wait. Um, and then as far as physicals go, I knew that I wanted to be an athletic build. Um, and so I've got an 85 speed. So I got an 85 speed, an 89 uh, ball handle, an 80 speed with ball. And a 92 perimeter defense so essentially when this build is maxed out i'll be able to play point guard and guard ball at the same time which is my play style I like guard and ball with two poppers on my team um i feel like it makes me like i, I feel teed up when i get my own stop and um it, it just keeps me locked in when i'm playing both sides of the floor and um the name man the name is 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 lovely two-way three point point forward it's a tongue twister um i haven't seen anybody else with a build name like this um, and then the badge count is 13, 17, 22, and 21. I got my extra four badges yesterday. Um, and so I put three of them on playmaking and I put uh, one on defense. So now I've got 13, 17, 25, and 22. Um, and then with just the amount of playmaking badges that I get, I'm going to end up uh, core badging my quick first step on the Hall of Fame. So I'm going to be able to, to, to just be this big, like lengthy, I, I, I modeled this build after the last build that I made on NBA 2K22 Next Gen, um, which was a 6'8 with minimum wingspan, and it had really similar stats to this. It had a standing dunk, it had interior defense, um, it had a pretty low steal because his arms are short, but I made it work just based on how strong the build was. Oh yeah, I didn't even speak about strength. So um, I, I made sure that I went with 74 strength so I can get bronze bully. You know, at the very least, um, a lot of people were going heavier and, and, and you know, wanting gold bully and this and that. Are you guys really going to be mashing people in the paint, you know, to that extent? Um, you know, make your builds the way that you want to make your builds. You got to think about the way that you want to play the game. You know, don't think about the way that the game is being played. Think about the way that you want to innovate and, and the way that you want to get things done. You know, make sure you stay tuned in. I'm going to be dropping a SIG video soon. I'm going to be dropping a jump shot video soon. And uh, we're going to look at the progression of this build together. Um, I know right now, I feel, I, me personally, I don't know how everybody else is feeling, but I feel a little bit discouraged. But it's just because point forward builds always need to be maxed out before they, you know, you can really judge them. You can't judge them when they're on the come up because they're so well-rounded. They're not like super strong in any one area. So if you're not fully maxed out, you know, you're going to be a little bit frustrated. But all in all, I, I'm loving the game. I'm loving the gameplay. I'm loving the defense. I'm out here boxing absolutely everybody. I just got to get my SIGs and I got to get my movement right. I got to get my badges. Um, but stay tuned. We're going to be dropping more content. I'm going to be doing three to four videos a week. I stream on Twitch live every single night at midnight. Um, so if you guys want to go drop me a follow on Twitch, you can. I'm going to be dropping TikToks. We're, we're, we're locked in this year, man. We're going to be in a different bag. And I uh, appreciate you guys being here for the ride.